All right, yeah. let's see what we can do. Um, how about something like, um, well, it's the. Do you let's think, look at. Do you think that this is I'm the just, entire? The I'm just gonna do section. one like uh, number nineteen. Okay. okay. Um, number nineteen says uh, twenty people belong to. Is the that Alpha he, Club. Is that what he just okay. did? So, hold on. Um, 30 people um, belong to the Beta Club. Okay. Um, six people belong to both. Okay. okay. Um, now... The first thing is telling us, um, that the number of A is 20. And the second thing is that the number of B is 30. Okay? And the third thing is telling us that the number of A intersect B, which is both, uh, is 6. Okay, so in orange, I have written what the problem says. And in black, I have written what uh, the equations say, <laughs> right? Um, the question is... Uh, how many people, uh, let's look at question A. Um, how many people belong only to the Alpha Club? Okay. Um, what we need here is... Um, that means 30, though, right? How many people belong only to the Alpha Club? That would be 30. No, no. Or am I misreading? 20 that? people belong to the Alpha Club, right? But oh, some right. people belong to both. And we don't know what which Well, one. we well, know that oh, six, six people, belong. right? So, it would um, be so we would take the number six. of the Alpha and we would subtract the number in Alpha intersect Beta, and that would be. 20 minus 6, which is 14. Another way to think about it is uh, with these pictures. Um, where here I have uh, alpha and I have beta. Um, and let's color some things in. The orange is... Hold on. I'm making us a color chart here. No, give me a moment. Um, what we are given is Where that... Where did you get that little, thing, little, little pen, digital pencil? I had to or order pen. this. This is... Um, this one was hard to find. It's the Maglis... Um, I've gone through a lot of these. They um, wear out quickly. No, um... They break? No, the problem is they're, the rubber that they're made with uh, sticks to the screen. It, it, it makes it so you can't write quickly. Oh, okay. Okay? Um, so, in our example... Sure. We're looking for... Um, we're given... Um, the number of A, which is, uh, in our picture, mm -hmm. consists of both, um, the orange bits and the yellow bits, uh, and we are told that this is, uh, 20. Right? Um, and we're given that um, the size of A intersect B 
which is um, the size of the football shaped thing. is six right okay we're asked for um, for the number of a not both In the picture, um, A not both mm -hmm. is this region. Okay. Um, so if, if I've decided that the circle on the left is... Um, the circle on the left is my set A... Okay, mm -hmm. and the circle on the right is my set B. Okay, okay. then the business in the middle is A intersect B, mm -hmm. right? Um, this stuff over here is B not both, and this stuff over here is A not both, the yellow stuff, Okay. So now, mathematically, how can we figure out um, the size of the yellow stuff? Well, we know that total, this circle, is 20 people. Okay? And the people that live in the orange circle in the middle which is A intersect B, six people, right? So if the whole circle is 20 people and the middle football orange-shaped region is six people, then the yellow region has to be 14 people, okay? Likewise, we're told that the B section is 30, mm -hmm. right? So how can we figure out what goes here, well, it's 24, because if the total circle has to be 30, and there are 6 in the football-shaped region, okay, so this is A intersect B, this football-shaped region, mm -hmm. the total circle is B. We're told that B has 30 people, we know that six of them live in the middle. They're in both clubs, which means there have to be 24. Would that just be an acceptable answer with that graph? Um, well, I don't know if you have the benefit of <laughs> colored <laughs> iPad <laughs> animation. Um, this is just to get your head around what's going on. Okay. Um, you know... If we're talking about acceptable answers, um, let's look at um, how to do the problem, you know, on test day. Yes. Right? Um, well, we've got some formulas, right? Um, we know is this, that... Is this the only... Do you, is there more formulas coming um, yeah. with this... Uh, in this... Uh, I mean, I don't know if he covered the whole section. It doesn't. It seems like he kind of um, it out. I was looking out because you were telling. So me. now, um, but um, as far how as how many belong only to the Alpha Club? That would be you. You have to translate only to the Alpha Club as like um, a equals fourteen. Well, or a like this. Would it be like you that? could write, I mean, basically, you want to say, um... Or do I have to add... Only to A, you're going to want, um, the number of people in A minus the number of people in A intersect B. Okay. Mathematically, that's how you're going to write it. Okay? What does that say? Only, only to A. Only 
Um, now, you know, only to be mathematically is going to be um, the number in B minus the number in their intersection. Um, in the picture, we're thinking of total in the circle here, we have 30 people total. Um, we've got six people that are in both. How do I get 30 people total if I've got six people in both? I've got to have 24 people that are only in B. When when I'm solving these problems, um, and I, I understand that like you're, mul you're just subtracting or in your, um, from different segments of the mm -hmm. universe or um, but am I plugging in numbers here in these and N of A? Yeah, so I'm a, I'm, now, I'm now writing under these equations that, you know, N of A actually is 20. And N of A intersect B actually is 6. That's the information that you're given when you're told that 6 people belong to both groups. Uh -huh. 20 belong to A, 30 belong to B. Okay, you're given up here, the very first thing I talked about was in the word problem, you're told 20 people are in group A. Mathematically, you write that as N of A equals 20. You know, 30 people in B, N of B equals 30. Um, six belong to both. Now, um, so is this, so 20 is not in A, is it? 20, whoa, what was that? That one's... <laughs> um, so uh, 20 people are the number of people in A 30 people are the number of people in B now you could say you know how many are in either one mm -hmm. how many so if, if the number of A um, number of A sorry number of A is 20 um, number of B is 30 number of A intersect B is 6, um, how many in uh, one or the other? Um, or both. Okay. Okay. Well, one or the other or both is translated in set language, this sentence becomes um, how many people are in the union. Okay? It would be a mistake to say 20 plus 30 because there aren't 50 people in the club. Um... Here is where we're going to use that equation. Number of A union B is number of A plus the number of B minus the number in their intersection. Okay, how many people are in their total? There is going to be, uh, so this whole thing becomes um, 20 plus 30 minus 6 which is 44. Okay. So going back to our breakdown of this club, let's break it down into their non-overlapping so regions. Is this, is this the same as saying 20 plus 30 minus 6 is the same as saying this? Um, Yes. Without the A, B, and the A union, uh, mm -hmm. A, A and the Yes, thing. correct. So, um... Is, is this the only one, um... There's other ones that are like this, isn't there? Yes. Other um, so, the point in the end is that we take the information we're given to piece together a full uh, information about our set, and the full information about our set is that there are 
14 people that are in group A only. Mm-hmm. Six people that are in group A and group B. Together, this 14 and this 6 mm-hmm. join forces to make the 20 people in group A. Right? Um, we have 24 people in group B. And together. Together with the six people that are in both, they make the 30 people that are in group B. The mistake that all of this is attempting to avoid is the mistake of saying, well, there are 20 people in group A, 30 people in group B, there must be 50 people. No, that's not right because they have overlap. There's actually 44 people total. Hmm. Okay, 20 of them join this group, 30 of them join this group. Um, As it turns out, 6 join both groups. Okay, so the question is, the whole point of the inclusion-exclusion is we don't know how many people there are. We know how many people signed up for A, we know how many people signed up for B, um... We know how many people signed up for both. Okay. Um, now go back to. Um, and Mike, is it from what you're you're gathering here in this book. So I, this I, this question this all of this was number nineteen. Okay. So this this whole video is number nineteen. Okay. Does this um, does this particular problem correlate to yes what everything yes. that I'm doing? So I'm going to be using that this formula. Well, you, the formula and the concept. So, part of it is you're going to have to be able to use all these concepts um, and be able to say, like, um, the question that you're asked um, in the very end, you're asked um, four questions. Um, Only to A, only to B, um, only to one club, um, and then one or both. Okay, and only to A is translated to this portion of our Venn diagram only to B is translated to this portion of our diagram um I think this was yellow I had um only to B translates to uh, I think it was green I don't know maybe it's not um and then finally um the intersection, which we're ignoring when we say, um, so only to one club. What would that mean? That, that would mean um, here or here, right? Um, only to one club is exactly not A intersect B. It's the size of the complement of A intersect B. Okay. Right, because the people who belong to A intersect B are the people who belong to two clubs, and we're saying we don't want those people. We want the people that belong only to one club. Finally, one or both is just another way to say A union B, which is um, the size of all three sets put together. Okay, so we've got this set, the orange business, uh, we got the green business, and then we have the yellow stuff. Okay. okay, and the key to doing these problems is the ability to switch back and forth between descriptions of sets and mathematical ideas, meaning... Um, they tell us a description of a set only to A, and we've got to translate that down to, okay, what we really need to do is 
figure, all right, there are 20 people in group A. We want to throw out the people that are in both to obtain 14. Which is the answer, right? That that's the size of this yellow yellow business right here. So when we see the words in English belong to A but not both, we have to know that mathematically that means twenty minus six in that twenty people belong to A, six people belong to both. And then to the Venn diagram that means 14 people live here, 6 people live here. The 20 people that live in A mm. live between the 14 and the 6. Okay, so uh, same reasoning for the 30 people that live in B. How many of them live only in B and not in both? Um, well, it's 30 minus 6 because 6 live in both. Okay. 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 Um, then we're asked how many live in only one of the two, but not both. Well, now that we've done all this work, we can see well, it's 14 plus 24. These are exactly the regions of people who belong to only one club. Okay? Oh, okay. Six belong to both. Now, finally, the question is, how many people are there total... And the answer is 44. Because, uh, I mean, for that, we can use this formula that you were given. The, the problem with the formulas is, like, it's actually better to use the picture as the formula. Meaning what you want to do is take these overlapping regions A and B and think about them as three regions that don't overlap, right? We have the people that are only in A, the people that are only in B, and the people that are in both. Okay? Um, I think that's enough for one video.